Hey y'all, and welcome to take four of this. So, something I'm beginning to learn. Most of these fuckers in this uh, level reflect wind. Because this is the third time I've died to some reflected fucking wind back at me. So, the main gimmick of this level is... It depends on what your stats are. You need certain levels of strength, magic, and luck in order to open all the doors. At any rate, because of how my build is, the only door I can really open at this point would be the magic doors. I believe that the stat requirement you need is a minimum of 25 in a given stat to be able to open the door, but I could be wrong. As a result, we're not going to be able to fully explore this place just yet. But I will be sure to come back and explore it later. For now, our main objective is to just go down. Get to the bottom of the third Kalpa. Hee ho! Let's see. This door is locked, and it's a gold vault. So we'll need another key for that. Uh-oh. The menorah is flickering wildly. So, by coming down here... We are for ourselves. Sorry about that, Mr. Penis Ed. Summoner. That sounds familiar. Wait, I know this guitar sting. Or organ sting. Yep. We encounter Rido again. There's our star of the show. Slow move, Rido. Demon here to keep watch. Keep this short, Demi King. We did more investigation, and here's what we dug up. The old man's planning a battle royale between you fiends. To the death, I might add. You were aware of that, weren't you? Wouldn't want to assume you were just mindlessly playing along. Although in the end, I suppose that's no business of ours. I just wanted to let you know that was never our goal from the start. We're detectives, sadists. But... You, Rhino, still has a job to finish. In other words, we can't just let you be. So level with us. Will you agree to leave quietly? Unless we put you through the ringer again. Go ahead and try. I suppose that's the demon in you talking. Trying to unleash the beast, are we? Well, it wouldn't be much of a demi-fiend otherwise. Wouldn't you say so, Rido? From here on, you'll either limp toward your bloody doom, or prove your strength to us once and for all. 
this gate will serve as the starting point. Take one step beyond it. Rondo will make you regret being born into this world. And so, we have received another challenge from Rido. This next section is interesting. We're going to be chased by Rido, and we need to flip various switches to open the way forward. Stay focused, Rido. If we get within Rido's line of sight, He'll start shooting at us. So our main objective is to avoid him. I've never been one to encourage foul play, so allow me to give you a hint. In order to make it through the area ahead, you'll need to turn off all the switches. I'll give you to the count of three. Don't let this precious time go to waste. Two, three. And Rido comes on in to chase us. And he will follow us through the rooms. So we need to find all of these switches and, well, switch them off. not realize he was there. Thankfully, all he tends to do, best you could do. Sure. All he does is that he'll kill one of your demons and then just fuck off. Ah, oh, come on. Let me in that room, asshole. Also, stop killing, trying to kill Phantom. He's a good boy. Fine, if you're going to guard it that way, we're going to go this way instead. So I need to get into this room because there is a second switch I need to flip that you stopped me from doing. opened our way forward. Now we just need to slip by Rido. Who is right there. I know you saw me. Ah, you dick. What is your problem with Phantom, Rido? What's that? So these will teleport you to the end of the hall. But on the opposite side. Touched it. That rude. And that's what I was talking about earlier, where if you get in his line of sight, he'll start shooting at you. But that's actually fine. Because he actually doesn't do too much damage to you. And to be honest, if you just zigzag a little, he does miss. Alright, we've made it to the next room. Now he will follow us down, and if I remember right, down here is the boss fight against him, so let me get a new moon. Just to be on the safe side. 
Oh, no. Not yet. It's another one of these. Mercifully, during all of this, you don't have to worry about random demon encounters. Okay, got that mapped. And there's a Rhino. And that's a dead end. Which way are you going? This way? This way. Rude. So each of these is kind of a mini puzzle on how you're supposed to get by Rido. Ah, damn it, I was trying so that I could, uh, skirt around him there. Man, you really don't like Phantom. Now, honestly, that's for the best. It doesn't reset your switch progress, and I can just keep infinitely respawning Phantom. <laughs> Okay, so we got two switches, got two more. Well, one more. Okay, so it's the exact same layout as the other one. See you. Alright, and that was switch number three. So you should just be able to leave. Oh, well, I guess I do need to flip all of them this time. Or re flip all of them. Lame. So let's study this room a little. Okay, there's where I'm going to be able to slip by him. Hey. 
Alright, see ya. Kinda of funny that if you do that, you just watch how his pathing actually works. And he doesn't come for the third one. Follow the leader! Yeah, I'm so fine on health. Okay, just in case, let's get up to the full moon. And if I die here, I will grind a little off screen in the third Kalpa because I'd like to get the white rider and, you know, not die over and over against a singular boss. Nope. Nope. Nice of you, but no. Not since you're going to send me straight to the damn top. Though that does seem to indicate that this is probably where we will officially fight the Demi uh, the uh, Rido Kuzanoa. So let's go on and do that. And get it down to the new moon. Now three chin. El doce. And one. And there's the new moon. Not really. So, you're there to give me the full heal. Now I've got to grind to the new moon, or the full moon. You know what, just because I would like to have all of my mana back. It's a bit of a hit to my wallet. Excuse me. It's been a bit of a hit to my wallet, but I'd like to have the main character with full mana. I'd like to not have to waste my resources, because I can grind money easily enough. Especially since on the third Kalpa, there is a dude that'll straight up give me a hundred thousand. And... God said, give me Bright Might. for a living he could chase someone down in his sleep and we have you right where we want you near a ladder going down to the fourth kalpa right off do not let him slip away <laughs> I'm sure a man of your caliber would back down from a challenge. Now, 
Show us what you're made of. That is actually acceptable. So we'll more cry. Attack, attack, attack. Or cry a second time because might as well try and make him waste his turns. Pray. And we'll just go on an attack. Come, McCoy. McCoy boomerang. Ow. Don't you fucking do it. Come, McCoy. You fucking did it. Well, this is already a lost cause. Boy boomerang. Color me impressed, anything. I actually fucking survived. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to complain. But I'm not going to survive the next turn if I don't. And what are these items here for but to assist in these trying times? Full health. Perhaps we underestimated him. Right up. This is your cue to pull out all this stuff. I mean it. Use any and every trick you have left up your sleeve. Counting on you. Use any and every trick as you immediately waste your press turns. <laughs> yeah, I got him down to critical. And we beat him! I actually can't believe I beat him first try! Alright, let's bring agility up some more. And finally, I get life refill. Which I am going to throw onto force, uh, force boost right now. Uh, stun gaze. Not that great for what I've currently... Uh, hmm. I'm never going to really use Taunt, so I might as well swap it out for that. I don't want you to, because you've already got good shit, and... No. But I will listen to you. What you need? Strength Incense. Definitely take. Mazionga. Also take. to us. Something about you also gives us hope. 
So we're thinking we'd lend you a hand. Right up. Why don't you give him that piece of evidence? We found this in the area, but we don't have any use for it. And that's why our menorah's been activating when rido has been around. Since better keeping with you. So we gain the menorah of knowledge. Seeing as how well you handle yourself, I think you can forge your own path. Maybe even impress the old man. I truly look forward to our next encounter, Demi Fiend. You and me both, because our next encounter means you join us. And Rido left. Well, that was closer than what I'd like, and I did have to use one of my precious uh, super rare items to make sure I survived, but I mean, it actually worked out. So we're still missing two on this line. I know one of them I can buy for 50,000. I still need to master that. I think... Mm, excuse me. Now that I've got... Uh... Passive healing while I walk. I will go ahead and. I wonder how much that does heal while you walk. Yeah, while moving. Okay, so it looks like it's not every step, but every few steps it'll heal you a halfway decent amount. And let's see what uh, Mr. Creepy Old Man and Creepy Lady has for us now. So, you've survived the challenge of that formidable devil summoner. I'm amazed at how far you've come. The demon inside you will continue to be your source of strength during your quest. Power. It is what all humans seek. It is built into them. Whether it is the power of light or the power of darkness, people rely on it and pray. They do so wishing for greater power. In fact, a woman you know quite well prayed to a goddess in hopes of saving the world. Let me tell you about that particular deity. Aradia. She is from a vortex world beyond the boundaries of this one. In the Amala universe, where time and space melt together and flow as one, there exist countless vortex worlds. One of these worlds is where Aradia originated. As you are already aware, this vortex world was built upon a foundation, what you may consider to be the previous world. However, in its shadow lies another world, where those considered fictitious gather. And that is the vortex world where Aradia once resided. Those who dwell there wish for one thing, for their existence to become real. To find the means, they depart into the ocean of Amala and seek out worlds that hold the power of creation. Aradia herself, is a tragic savior born of dreams. She emerged in response to the cries of witches who were persecuted for their beliefs. The witches prayed to Aradia for power and freedom. They also prayed for people to be saved from the hardships of life. However, Aradia never showed herself on Earth, nor did she save anyone. She was a being who could only give hope to her believers. Humans, whom God created, created a god of their own. 
Anything is indeed possible within the vast ocean of Amala. Nevertheless, Aradia is still an outsider. There is little that she can do in a vortex world where her existence is forbidden. She is merely a goddess of forsaken freedom. There are many you have spoken to during your time here, including the fiends and us. You have heard the voice of the Absolute One, too. But please know this, in the everlasting flow of Amala, we have long waited for you, for a time such as this to come. The true significance of the Menorahs in the Labyrinth of Amala, the new Demon of Chaos, whom all are waiting for in anticipation, and the final moment that my master awaits. Oh, you must be overwhelmed by all this. But, if you can restore the menorahs to their original places, and come here once again, then at that time, I will tell you the answers to all of your questions. That doesn't sound ominous at all. open our door to the fourth Kalpa. Well, let's go check out that descent. an item. I was about to say, where's the damn rug pool? That one actually wasn't too bad. Lastly, we find our way down to the uh, fourth Kalpa, where we need four more menorahs. Well, technically three. Eh, it's not looking too great. Oh, no. That's better. Might as well go on and place the Menorah of Knowledge here. So there are three fiends left, I believe. And still, our door to the next floor, the next Kalpa, is locked. So we'll see you in the hop side when we continue on. See you guys. Cheers. <laughs>